This is Matthew 24 and verse 6. Red letters. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Oh boy, I don't see how you can't make a 10 minute video at least a day. So many things going on and happening across this earth. Verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. See that? Let's move on. Ezekiel 38 and verse 4. And I will turn thee back and put hooks in the jaw in thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth and all thine armies, army, horses and horsemen, all them clothed with all sorts of armor. Even a great company with bucklers and shields. All of them handling swords. Uh, we all we all know the uh, you know one of the major conflicts that's going on uh, in in the Ukraine. Okay. Breaking news: U.S. to invade ha uh, Haiti. All kinds of different things going on. All right, but you how about y'all is going to put hooks in Russ's jaws? You know, he's in the mind of the kings, right? Let's go here. Ezekiel 9 and verse 4, and the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that's what he's done. That's what he has done. You got all these celebrities, you know, uh, you know, got that video from the brothers of Doc around, you know. No, a, a Salakia, I'm wrong. I got that video from the Brother Arrows of Indignation, you know, and I, you know, I did a quick live on that. But you've got you've got all these celebrities and you've got uh, these people and those people and uh, the, the the entertainment Israelites, the 501c3 Israelites. But the ones who are doing what? Let's read this over. Let's read this again. All right. When, when the heat comes down upon everybody else, they fold like a cheap piece of paper, man. You see, they fold up like a, like a hard taco, right? A soft taco, Salakia. Ezekiel 9 and verse 4, and the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city and through the midst of Jerusalem, which is a people before it's a place, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry, for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, okay? You see that? All right? Everybody else is folding. But the, hey, but the men at Great Millstone, hey, uh, they never falter. Let's continue on. Let's go. Keep pushing. The year of 2022. Turn all the way up, man. Check this out right here. Okay? Russia... Russia, Russians hack U.S. Delta command and control system, complete Ukraine battle plans exposed. <coughs> Slaki, excuse me. <clears throat> it's real early in the morning. I've been up almost all night meditating on these scriptures, man. But it is what it is. You know, that's what he does. Sometimes it's good to get sleep sometimes, you know, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, the United States Delta command and control system. Is the computer network that the U.S. uses for battle operations. You see that? All right. It is, it is uh, consistently updated by military planners and intelligence sources with troop deployment info, weapon stock info, and complete attack plans. You see that right there? All right. They got them. They already know what they're going to do. You know, um, there's, there's a little bit more on this. They know what they're going to do. They know all their battle plans. Okay? The third world cometh quickly, man. This is getting ready to happen. This is why we stay occupied in these prophecies. It's all written right here in the book. Russian has hacked it. 
Ukraine battle plans totally compromised. You see that? Totally compromised. He, didn't he say he's going to put hooks in the jaw? See? Gog and Magog? Okay, equally important, the Delta system is also consistently updated with information about the opposing forces, in this case, Russia. <laughs> All right, here is what Russian, uh, Russian computer hacker got access to. With videos proving he got access. Woo! And how it, how it is likely to be uh, d d d dis dispos dispositive, dispositive, wh uh, whatever, all right, of, uh, <clears throat> lucky, of the entire Ukraine war in Russia's favor, okay? All right, so hey, it's a Salaki again, that's real early in the morning. It is what it is. So let's go here. Isaiah 13 and verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes. Salaki, let's see if I'm working. Oh boy, I got to go back here. Oh wow. Th that's beautiful. I'll start. Isaiah 13 and verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Continuing on, verse 16. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces. See that? See, there's a there's a draft coming too. You know, a lot of these uh uh little little Edomites and laughing and having a good time, driving their big, you know, big trucks with the big rims loud. You know, even even some of these uh younger Jakes, man, gonna get drafted. Okay? The third woe is coming. It's very clear to see it. So let's read that again. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. You see their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled, spoiled and their wives ravished. Just like in any war, you know, just like in any war. This is what happens, man. The, uh, uh, the women become part of the spoils. Verse 17, behold, I will stir up the Medes. You see that? Is he not doing that? Is Yahweh Bashem Yahshad not doing this? Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. What has Russia and China recently done? These scriptures are absolutely infallible. They're perfect. What has Russia and China done? They, they have uh, uh, thrown away all fiat currency and, and uh, all their currency is now backed by physical gold, silver, you know, f by uh, physicality. You see that right there? Let's read that again. This is awesome. All right. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. All right. So, you, I mean, you got to pay attention to what that scripture is talking about. Verse 18, their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. Whew, that's heavy. Verse 19 and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, right? You know, Babylon, the U.S. of A got military bases everywhere, all, even in uh, South Korea. You know. And I, and I said that for a reason, because it reminds me of uh, uh, those uh, sa uh, North Korean satellites that they launched that it just hover over the, uh, the United States constantly. By the way, those satellites never put out or receive any information. So what are they? You got to think about it. Let the weak say I'm strong. Ooh. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldeans. Excellency. Shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It's still radiation over there in them five cities, man. He completely destroyed that place. Now think, think about how he's going to leave neither root nor branch. This is beautiful. Revelation twenty and verse eight. It's lucky. Okay, all right. Revelation twenty verse eight, and shall go. Out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to get, uh, to gather them together to battle. See that? 
the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. Ooh, it's getting heavy. I got some other articles here, too. Several things. You know why? Because this well-favored harlot, man, every uh, all these nations are pissed off and they get ready to bend their bows. You see, and that's all, they got all kinds of different weapons. You know, uh, we got, uh, uh, I said we, <laughs> ain't no we here, all right? But uh, the United States got, uh, got boots on the ground over there in Ukraine, you know? And really, they've been having boots over there. Do you think for a moment that they uh, they taught those uh, Ukraine uh, uh, soldiers to use this uh, highly advanced uh, military system that Babylon has? No. It's the United States. It's a, a, a true blue Americans over there hitting buttons and, and pulling triggers. Nahum 3 verse 4. Nahum 3. Ooh, oh, boy. In verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. We all know who the prey is. The noise of the whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels. Ooh, that's that's beautiful. And the and the prancing horses and the jumping chariots. Wow. The horsemen lift up both the bright sword. You see that? And the glittering spear. And there is a multitude of slain. And you know, as I'm reading, this is beautiful, man. Call her law, Yah Bashim As I'm reading this, I'm seeing it. And it and it's happening. This these are prophecies. Ooh, man. And and the uh, and their multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses, and there is none end of their corpses. They stumble upon their corpses because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth Salakia. I don't know what that was. It was purple. That was strange. That's 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 really strange. Anyway, that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and I will discover thy skirt upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. Okay, this is it's, this is going down. Yahweh Yahshua is not playing. He's not playing. And in the meantime, he's killing 150, 200 people on a bread celebrating a Halloween. He's uh he's uh deleting rappers left and right. You know, it's to hey, it's time to repent, man. It's time to repent. <laughs> he's doing all kinds of floods, drying up. You know, the Mississippi River uh, is drying up. There's and, and, and there's floods in different places, earthquakes, pestilence, famine. You know. All these curses are coming upon Babylon, coming upon the enemy. Nation against nation. Amalek against Esau, which is Esau, Edomites against Edomite. You know, a nation divided cannot stand, right? All these things are happening right in front of everyone. The house of David is being built. The house of David is being built. This is beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I just want to make sure my microphone was turned on. <clears throat> Salakia. Proverbs 21, verse 1. <clears throat> um, Salakia again. Ooh, man, my voice is all messed up. Please forgive me for coughing in your ear like that. Proverbs 21 and verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord Yahweh as the rivers of water. He turneth it wheresoever he will. You see that? He is, uh, he's in control of all these things. You know, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, but they don't know that it's already been written. No, they people don't understand that. You know, you know uh, uh, the other uh, day at camp, Edomite walked up talking about, didn't God give us free will? Absolutely not. See, absolutely not. You don't know. You, they don't. Y'all, you don't fear your how about shimmy how shy. You don't understand. Verse two, every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord Yahweh pondereth the heart, which is your mind, to do what? To do justice 
and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord Yahweh than sacrifice. A high look and a proud heart and the plowing of the wicked is sin. See? It's funny, I was just now speaking about dirty ass Edomites. What we have here? Let's go into this. All right, because it, it, it's all in the Bible. Didn't the scripture say, let the weak say, I'm strong? And everybody, you know, hey, there was a point in time, you know, when uh, Trump was was the, the head puppet. When everybody was, you know, sort of trying to make fun and say, oh, look at them little Koreans, the little rocket man, right? But what they don't understand is, is uh, again, that's why I was speaking about those uh, those couple satellites that got hovering over Babylon that don't put out or receive any kind of signal. Well, what the hell is it? Could be an EMP weapon. Could be a nuke. It could be one of those glittering. Uh, it could be one of those uh, uh, stars falling from heaven. North Korea missiles prompt. Uh, yeah, missile prompts air raid sirens in South Korea. Not long ago, did uh, did he not shoot one over? Uh, what was it Japan? You see that? All right, Seoul, South Korea. North Korea fired at least ten missiles Wednesday, including at least three towards uh, South Korea territory, triggering alerts uh, on televisions throughout the country. And air raid sirens uh, in uh, in an island, uh, Providence, off the coast. So, hey, see that right there? You know, I could keep going. You know, I, I'll, let's go here. North Korea has fired about 50 ballistic missiles this year. A, re a record high because until today, none has been launched towards South Korea territory, Korean territory. And none has resulted in public air raid uh, alerts. So, man, this thing is heating up. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is in the mind of these kings, man. And he's turning everything up. He's putting hooks in the jaw. He's uh, he's uh, he's stirring up the meads that that bear, the old rush, the, uh, them uh, them Edomites over there. They Edomites too. Again, a house divided cannot stand. Right, Joel three and verse ten. Beat your. Let's go back. If if I need to go back here, I might want to go back. Mm -mm -mm. That's beautiful. Joel three verse nine. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. You see that? You, hey, you uh, you think little rocket man, everybody's laughing. Ha ha ha, it's little rocket man. Hey, he's got he's got some firepower. You know, Yahabashim Yahasha got him to where he's got the smith and the waster. You see that? Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause thy mighty ones to come, come down, O Yahweh. Let the heathen be, let the heathen be awakened, and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat, the valley of decision. They're all getting gathered there. Don't you see it? For for there. Will I sit to judge all the heathen round about in the midst of battle? See, put ye in the sickle. What's a sickle? What do you uh, do with a sickle? You uh, you uh, you, you you cut things down with a sickle. For the harvest is ripe. See, come get come get you down. For the uh, for the press is full. The wine the wine press is full. The fats overthrow for their wicked is wickedness is great. Okay, let's keep going here. This is beautiful. I love this. Call Yahweh Shai. See, these are comforting scriptures to these other people, to these one percenters, to these uh, uh, higher up, uh, higher echelon, if you will, uh, Edomites. They know what's going on. That's why they're trying to bundle us all up together and say, "Look, they're a hate group. Look, we got to kill them." You see that? <laughs> It's so easy to see. Okay. Verse 14. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord Yahweh is near in the valley of decision. He's coming. Let's move on down to verse 16. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Verse 15. The sun and the moon shall be darkened 
and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Why? Because boom, 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 boom. You see that? And, and the heavens going to be uh, rolled together as a scroll. The glittering spear, the sword going, going all, hitting perfectly. Yeah, how about Shimyao Shah's not playing? What do you think? What do you think they made all them nukes for you just to sit on them? <laughs> yeah, you you must be naive. The Lord Yahweh shall also roar out of Zion. You see that? And utter his voice from Jerusalem again, which is a people before it's a place. And who, who does he, who does he got on the highways and byways and making epistles daily? His men. He's roaring through his men. You know, we, <laughs> he told us to go tell him, go let him know, go tell him. But hey, but what Jake worried about money, hoes and clothes. You see that money, hoes and clothes. That's what he's worried about. You know, the Lord, Yahweh shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord, Yahweh will be the hope of his people all right and the strength of the children of israel didn't say everybody you know has it been a rash of eves making tiktok videos talking about the, the scripture never said the scripture said everybody or and everybody can be saved and all that believed in jebus you know and you know and you know what controlled opposition and them simps on tv they say it too you know in the meantime, uh, all these all these stars and celebrities. You, uh, when the hell are they? When did they put down the basketball? When did they put down the microphone and go out to the highways and byways? When did they straightway follow Yahweh by Shimmy I was shy? They didn't do that. And again, they fold again. They 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 fold right on up when their bottom line gets hit. We see the men of the Lord. We, we we don't have no bottom line. You know, we have we we don't have no bottom line. We don't have we we didn't uh, sell out. We didn't we didn't five hundred one c three ourselves. Hmm. It was a crappy deal, right? Now you threw. You better repent before it's too late. Jeremiah forty nine verse twenty. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that He have taken against Edom and His purposes that He have purposed against the inhabitants of Timon. Surely, see, see that right there? Wow. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their uh, habitation desolate with them. Well, and who's that speaking of, man? And, oh, them Israelis. Oh, they've got involvements. They got their hand. See, uh, Amalek. They got their hand all over everything. You see that? Really, really, they the ones that are controlling everything, man. Don't shoot the messenger. We ain't scared of you. Let's get, I, I'm with here. Israelis' involvement with the war in Ukraine after months of proclaimed neutrality. Mm -hmm. They proclaim a lot of things, right? They, they, they say they, what have they said? Uh, levy. <laughs> they say they're Judah. Really? You can't prove none of it out of the book. You just go back and scream anti sim, right? After months of proclaimed uh, neutrality, Israel has taken a stand against uh, Russia uh, in the in the Russo-Ukrainian war. To see, uh, Prime Minister uh, Nef Neftali Bennett is reported. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's move on down. Let's, there was something else I want to get. Uh, has been sending supplies. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, let's see. While Israel. Uh, has been sending supplies and defense gear to support Ukrainian refugees and soldiers. Okay, so what is that? That's a declaration of war, isn't it? An act of war definition. Act of war. Uh oh. He wants me to accept cookies. I don't want to accept your cookies right now. Act of war means hostile or warlike action, whether declared or not, in a time of peace or war. Rather, in a, uh, initiated by a local government, foreign government, or uh, a foreign group. You see that? Civil unrest, insurrection, rebellion, uh, or civil war. So, hey, that's all that is an act of war. And, you know, really, honestly, 
uh, these Edomites in these other nations have uh, had a, a, a active war with the Israelites ever since when? Ever since Esau, Edom sold his birthright. It's always been an active war. Cain slew Abel. You see? Let's go here. <clears throat> you see, the Nord Stream operator investigate pipeline. So now uh, Gog Magog, Russia, you know, now they have uh, the green light to go in and, and to investigate the pipeline. And they and they claim that they have evidence and know who did it. OK, this, that's an act of war, isn't it? Main infrastructure. They uh, and they know who did it and they know what's going on. See. You see that right there? Let's move on. Let's go to a, let's go back here. Let's go to first. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Revelation 11 and verse 13. In the same hour where there was an earthquake and the 10th part of the city fell as 10 FEMA zones in here in Babylon, right? And in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000, which is completion. And the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the Lord Yahabashim Yahasha of heaven. See that? <laughs> Verse 14, the second woe is past and behold, the third woe come quickly. And the seventh angel sounded and there was a great voice in heaven saying the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord. <laughs> and, a, and of his son, Hamashiach Yahashai. All right. And he shall reign forever and ever. You see that? It's a lucky for the pop up. Let's move on down here. And you just give thanks always, man. Verse 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come in the time of, of, of the dead, that they should be judged, and, and that thou shouldst give reward unto the servants, the prophets. See that? Oh, I thought everybody was going to be saved. <laughs> That's a false balance. And the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Scripture said by the hands of my people. You see that? That's beautiful. <clears throat> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is Joel 3 and verse 2. I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. <clears throat> Decision, right? And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered amongst the nations and parted my land. Who's done that? The least of the flock. Mm -hmm. And they have cast lots for my people and have and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Uh, Ham did that. Ishmael did that. See, you see right here, it says, yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon and all the coast of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly and pleasant things. Uh, I got to keep I got to keep reading. The children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem, northern and southern kingdom, have ye sold unto the Grecians, Edomites, that ye might remove them far from their border. Israel. <clears throat> Jerusalem, which is above and free, which is the mother of us all. You see, behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them. Revelation 11, verse 11. And we return your recompense upon your own head, man. That's beautiful. Isn't that comforting? All right, I got a couple more because the nations are pissed off. You see what's happening, don't you? These are It's all in prophecy. That's why he said, stay occupied in prophecy. And though it tarry, wait for it, it shall surely come. Jeremiah 51 verse 7, behold, Salakia, I must be tired. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. See, not, not you know, you, you know what I'm talking. You know what this scripture is talking about. I'm just going to keep keep on going here. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. You see that? Babylon is suddenly fallen, destroyed. How for her take bomb for her pain? If so, 
If so, BC, uh, BC may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. And he sees all these things, man. And it's coming to pass here. Here we go. I was briefly talking about that. This is, uh, all right, North Korea. Uh, well, I don't know what that's all about. Let's see if I can get rid of it. Uh, no, I don't want any offers. Salakia. That's unbelievable. See, he wasn't doing that before. Can we get off of this screen, please? Really? All right. Best value. How about that? Or subscribe. Okay. Yeah, let's get the hell off of this screen, please. Thanks. This is unbelievable. Really? Okay. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Y yeah. Okay. You, you see the devil? That's the damn devil right there. Let's see if, see if I can go back to it. Unbelievable. Anyway, we'll, we'll try a different site. Salakia for that. See? These are the day by the wayside. Satan come immediately, man. You know, Esau's through. He's hurt. There we go. North Korea to launch satellites to monitor U.S. and its allies. You see that? All right. To launch what? Satellites, right? But it's it. But it said that these satellites are not beaming nor receiving any types of ones and zeros information. Zero. Nothing. So what are they? North Korea will launch a, a number of uh, reconnaissance satellites in coming years to provide real time information on military actions by the United States and its allies. State media on Thursday re uh, reported uh, leader uh, Kim Jong Un. As saying, while inspecting North Korea's National Aerospace uh, Development uh, Administration, Kim said a lot of military uh, 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 reconnaissance Slakia, satellites would be put into sun, a, a synchronous polar orbit uh, in the period of a five year plan announced last year. States news agency reported. OK, so again, these satellites are there. They're there. OK, what is what they call satellites, but they're not doing they're not doing satellite activities. There ain't no telling what they are, man. Again, it could be them stars falling from heaven. This place is finished. Luke 21 and verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of of man you see that's what that's easy scripture said i have set thee a watchman scripture said i stood upon my watch okay and that's that hopefully this lesson was edifying there's so much to go into the water the water the water to you how about shimmy i was shy for giving us the eye salve and the understanding giving all praise honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone. All right. Healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so. DTA and Kwam Yasharala, Wa Abiba Ba. Boom. Shalom.